As you work with your auditor on your SSA 16, one of the concepts to be aware of uh, would be related to audit risk, control risk, and detection risk. As an audit firm, we're always concerned about whether or not our opinion is accurate about the service organization that we're auditing. And that's the concept of audit risk. What are the chances that our, that our audit will be incorrect, that we will miss something? Control risk is the chances that your control is not operating effectively. Uh, the more that people are involved, the higher the control risk. So for example, if you rely upon a person to monitor something or do something, there are inherent limitations to that because people make mistakes. There are also inherent limitations to automated practices because systems fail. So there's always some level of control risk and the auditor will design tests in order to help us uh, have reasonable assurance that the control is in place and it is operating effectively um, for, the, for the most amount of time possible. And that relates to detection risk. What are the chances that we in our audit won't detect something uh, that is in existence? And so the auditor will design tests and will ap apply sampling in order to get a good snapshot of the control being in place and operating effectively so that we can be reasonably assured in our opinion that we provide to you as the service organization and then of course in turn your clients will rely on that opinion and so that's why the audit has to be properly scoped it has to be properly conducted and it's always being driven by these elements of risk that i've described